guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl for that day. I'm currently at work, so yes, so we're going to go ahead and film this video. Okay, you guys, so today's video, I'm going to tell you guys all about how my phone fell with this. So, you all know the last video, so if you've not watched the last video, it's going to on the screen now. Go ahead and watch that video. Um, that is the cooking vlog that led up to this incident. So you will watch that video first and then you watch this one, okay? So, yeah, you all know I was like, oh, my mom is back. And the thing is, my parents, I'm, I just read my voice because I have it around. My parents do not know, or I have not personally told them, so they might have found out, they might have seen like it somewhere or something, I don't know. But like, I personally haven't like told them like, yo, what's up, I'm a YouTuber. So, yeah, it's, been, it's so weird to like pick up the camera, that's why I don't feel okay a lot. Because it's been so weird, like, what the fuck are you videoing all the time? I'm even taking pictures, God. Taking pictures pisses my mommy off. Like, why are you taking so many pictures of yourself? Why you take pictures of yourself? Like, she always gets pissed off when she's busy taking, like, if you take one or two, it's fine. But I like, think you're like taking 10, 100. <laughs> and like, I take 100 pictures, like, at once. So it's like, you get me? So anyways, yeah, so I was like, oh, my mom is back, and then she had said, like, I'll put in the clip here where I was like, she has not complained, so we'll get to vlog together, <laughs> clown, <laughs> like, so, or, or some clown shit, but like, yeah, she didn't complain initially, so, fast forward to the point where you guys last saw me vlog, so I was like, oh, I'll get back to you guys when I'm going to eat, so, a few minutes after that, my mom came into the kitchen, and she's like, oh, you need to make stew. All this while I was assuming that there was stew in the house because she didn't mention it to my office. I was assuming that oh, there was stew in the fridge, oh, my freezer, sorry, and then we just bring it out and like my it or like put it inside the pot and just add some things and it's fine. So she comes and she's like, Oh, you need to make stew. And she brings out the um, pep, um, the pepe. We're going to use palm oil instead of um, granite oil. So she's like, Oh, make this stew. And I'm like, I right, cool, I'll make it. She was going to buy fuel. Now, picture this. I'm going to buy fuel, cook the food. And then you pick pots, put some the gas, carry from oil. Exactly. I'm like, can you let me do this thing? Because like she, this woman will let me just come into the kitchen. Because she's this woman. She'll just come into the kitchen and she'll just be like staring at you. Like staring at you cook. You know, that makes me nervous because you that's when I'm not gonna fuck up and gonna put <laughs> two heavy spoons or something. <laughs> I'm not done that too. Like, yo, don't get what I'm trying to say. Like, it's like someone telling like, you when you're doing something just makes you nervous. Yeah, so like she just came and then she's like, make this deal. She'll walk out of the kitchen, she'll come back into the kitchen. I was like, I was finalizing like the fish and everything. And then I put the pot, I remember the pot that I wanted to use, I put it on the gas. And I was like, oh, when she like goes out, I'll set up my phone and then I'll start everything. And she just comes and carries like, for example, this is the bottle of palm oil and she like pours palm oil into the pot and I think she tells my sister to um, put on like the gas. I'm not really sure who put on the gas. But like, so my phone, yeah, uh, I'll try and take a picture of my setup, like how I put my phone, my tripod and everything. So I was using my tripod the whole time to film. So I put it on the of the fridge. Now, I don't know how I'll show you guys this. I put it on the fridge and the fridge is like directly beside if you guys saw in the other video it's directly beside the cooker so I was sitting on top so that well, I'll just like tilt my phone or something okay this I need to mention this I made a mistake earlier that day I removed my phone pouch now my phone pouch is 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 um is it like it's a non-sleep pouch yeah thanks it's a non-sleep pouch so like no matter where I put it, as long as I put it on, it won't move. I, it happened one Sunday, I was vlogging one Sunday, I didn't put it on. And like, I kept my phone on like the headdress. And this car was moving, we went over a bump, yo. It did not fall, the phone did not even shake. My pouch is not sleep, I'm proud. <laughs> so yeah, so I was like, I removed it. I was testing my old pouch, which is the one that came in my phone. And then I didn't like it, so I moved that one. And then I forgot to put back on. So I put my phone just like that on the tripod. That was where I committed the crime. Now, like I said, palm oil was inside the pot already. Yeah. And I was trying to keep my phone up there and I tried I tilted it and it was like looking at it and like, oh it's not showing the pot. So I was like, oh and I probably just have to like hold my phone 
and if I need to like do something, I'll just like drop the phone. Like I was dropping it sometimes in the video, as you just see. I'll drop it sometimes to my team and be like, I'll show you guys the phone and all of that. So like I already was like, okay, that's what I'll just do. So I pulled out the phone from there with my anything. So oh my god, I wish I could show you guys exactly what I mean. Okay, I have another phone holder. Give me a second. Okay, so I have another phone holder. This is the phone holder I use. Um, I have two. This is like a newer one compared to the other one I'm that's on my phone currently. Um, so yeah, if my phone was in, inside here, obviously it will be expanded a little because my phone is not this tiny. But yeah, same. <laughs> my siblings my are like right there. So my this is let's say this is my tripod. This is not my tripod, but like, let's just say it's my tripod. My phone was like on the like in this space. So I brought it down from where it was up, and then I brought it down. So, I'm sitting on here. <laughs> it was on top here like this, yeah. So I wanted to pick it up and I was standing like somewhere here. When I picked it, I carried it like this. I was bringing it to myself. Normally my phone doesn't sleep because I said my couch is not sleep, but this time I forgot that my... Okay, my mind didn't even go that it would fall out because my phone has never actually fallen out of my tripod like my phone holder before. So it falls like out of... It just goes straight out of this and falls straight into the pot. Um, I think it fell with the back of it. So the front of it was like up. So I was like, oh, thank God, it's like, the front of it is fine. And then, like, my first instinct was I think I dropped the tripod on the freezer and then I picked up the pot and dropped it down because, as I said, the gas was on. So I put the pot on the ground and I was now staring at it like, what next? I was trying to use the um, OMRM. Um, I'm going to turn it stick. Turn it shut for me. I was trying to use turn it stick to like lift it up because like the pot was obviously hot. The hot. Hmm, I was going to say hot. <laughs> the oil was obviously hot. So I was going to like um use the, the stick to like lift it up and pick it. You get me? So like, I was trying to do that. My mom just put her hand inside, drag the phone out and threw it. I said my hand stopped. She threw it towards the sink. I thought she was straight into the water, into like maybe a bowl of water. I was like, my mind, I was like, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> I was like, God of Jesus. Well, she threw it like at the same like this small side space there. And she's like, What are you doing? I was trying to tell you that, Baba, you are videoing, you didn't come to you know, you know, and she's like, I'm saying, I swear, from the look on her face, you can tell that this woman was scared, like, Oh, I don't get money to buy you for this one for a day on your own. Like, and she like told me, like, she told my siblings, because my siblings the next day they were like telling her that my phone was bad and everything. And she was like, anything but I have savings. My savings are for a camera, don't fuck with me. <laughs> so, yeah, that was like what happened. I went to my room immediately. I went to, no, okay, I went to the, the bathroom and I used like a um, kind of like table paper towel. Yeah, those ones, those thicker ones, yeah, and I used like this um, soap, like liquid soap, and I tried to like clean it because I didn't want to, like, obviously, I can't put inside actual water and soap. So I used that one like dry, so I clean it, and then I use it towards like wipe it off and all of that. And then I noticed that my screen, now it has actually gone down now, so I can actually, I can't actually show you guys, and I never, I didn't think of to like take a picture of it, but like my screen currently, like at the top right corner, has like oil, like oil and tiny effect. Actually, that place was open. It was actually open and I noticed that that place was opening up a little bit before this incident. So like that place the oil used to go inside. It entered into my microphone, it entered into my speaker. My microphone is just now starting to work back, which is why I can film videos. I was actually scared that I wanted to film videos for a very long time. Which was one thing that made me very happy about the fact that I mistakenly ordered um microphones of Adi Express. I was like, oh thank god, I think I have that coming. My charging port was so low like right? yo. Uh, my phone be charged for like one hour and then it's uh, charging me like 10 or 15 cents. I was like, I was pissed. Like, I would turn my phone overnight. Normally, overnight, my phone will go from 0 to 100 and there will still be like, you get like, like, they will, they will not take less and then they will, like, you get the one can say, okay. So, yeah, I was pissed off. Like, I was like about to cry. I, I used rice. I used practically everything. Okay, I used to do rice for like two days. Not like two days straight, but like I put it then I use my phone and then the night, like overnight we put it right, so like it didn't work. Actually, the first night, when I put it inside right, it became worse, like, it barely here. You should have to hear anything, like I sent a video to somebody, I forgot, and Betty was like, sis, listen to that video, I used to think, I could not hear 
anything like it was bad and then over time it just started like work and i was like really really grateful but I, yeah very bad traumatizing experience because i was like what the fuck am i going to do so if i have to take money out of my savings that is supposed to be towards my camera to buy a phone that means my camera money is going to be like it's going to take me longer to get my camera money and that is like very very it's, it's very sad to think about so yes kids always use your non-stick phone pouch if you don't have a non-stick phone pouch please don't take your phone near it I'm not vlogging, I'm not doing today's cooking working. I will do a cooking vlog again, but like next time I'll be more careful. And I'm probably going to get a better tripod. I'm trying to get all those stand, those ones that stand on the floor that like to take like that. Those camera tripods, I'll put a picture of it on the screen somewhere for you guys to see what I'm talking about. But since those ones are like on the floor, it's like easier to manipulate and everything. But yeah, even using your phone in the kitchen is actually apparently it can make the gas to explode <laughs> according to nigerian parents group chat so like yeah um that is the story of what happens to my phone and i hope you guys were entertained by my my, my stupidity or my lack of better judgment or whatever you can call it but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section below today's post notification shout out um oh my god i'm going to have to go check and get back to you guys for the first post notification shout out it goes to you Nima, Margaret, okay, she was the first person to watch my video to my knowledge and so I really appreciate that, I appreciate you so this is her channel and you guys should please go subscribe to her channel the second post of your shout out goes to um, Adetayo yes, that's my second post of your shout out because he always reminds me to send him my link every time I post a video to repost for me so that's like really really amazing so that's my second post of your shout out and my third post of your shout out goes to India. I don't really know how to pronounce the name. I'll put her channel on the screen for you guys to see. Go subscribe to her channel. Thank you all so much for being an amazing part of my YouTube journey. I really appreciate all of you. So if you want to get a post of shout out uh, in my next video, make sure you are the first person to view and comment my video. Um, I will shout out your Instagram or your um, YouTube channel if you have one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every single time I post a video. I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye, baby.